Hi everybody, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. We are back, once again. Um, close to the end. We just had like a whole load of drama last episode. Um, and now everybody has new marching orders. The game that we're in right now is going to be deleted and everybody wants to tie up loose ends before it's too late. Uh, Dolores has to say goodbye to her dad. We still got Franklin here too, uh, which I forgot about last time. I'm tired of Xavier pushing me and everyone else around. I'm finally going to stand up for myself and give him the business. I need to say goodbye to Dolores before it's too late. We have to go stand up to Xavier, tell Dolores I love her, tell Dolores I'm sorry, tell Dolores goodbye. Okay, let's do it. We're going to go... We're going all the way up to the, to the penthouse. That's right. Up we go. We're going to stand up to Xavier once and for all, hopefully. Say goodbye to Dolores, and then finally make our way into the afterlife, you know, but in, in a way only Franklin could. He's gonna, there's gonna be lots of weird pauses and you knows dotted into the standing up to Xavier, I'm sure of it. Okay, Xavier, I'm ready for you, bitch. Hey, new ghost, I told you not to bug me. The fuck did you say to me? No. <laughs> can I please have the crystal so I can speak to Dolores when... You're a bully and a tyrant. You're a bully and a tyrant. Whoa, sounds like New Ghost found some spunk. Yeah, that's right. My name is not New Ghost, it's Franklin. Everyone hates you. You clearly have self-esteem issues. We're all sick of your bullying. We all just want to move on. We're not going to be ruled by you anymore. We're not going to be ruled by you anymore. Careful, or it's to the basement for you. Oh yeah, everyone hates you. Everyone hates you. I've about had enough of you, New Ghost. Oh yeah? You clearly have self-esteem issues. You have some self-esteem issues. Okay, that kind of hurt. Um, you have little hands. You have little hands. Really? Am I that bad? Yes. We all just want to move we on. We all just want to move on. I just want to see my wife again. Oh, look, we broke him I'm down. Lonely. And I miss her. I died and I never told her how much I loved her. It's okay. We all miss someone we love. Don't comfort him. Push him off the <laughs> building. Okay, we've got the... We've got the ghostly crystal now. I think we can go in here and, and use it. Tell Dolores I need to say... How do we use this thing again? This is my key to talking to Dolores again. What do I have to zap it? That doesn't use electricity. Do I just put it like on here or something? Um, wail, moan, look at... Talk to the crystal. Oh, talk to the boohoo list. Maybe we can chill I the get crystal? no satisfaction from chilling objects when no one is around. Can we... We can't go... Oh. I'm so close to seeing Dolores again. I don't want to leave here. I can't fucking remember what to do here. Maybe we have to zap the secret light switch to reveal. Okay, the lights are are now. Okay, let's let's zap it again. I think this all has to be on. This is my key to talking to Dolores again. What uh, can I? Ooh. I can't. I don't. I'm not sure what to do. Uh, blow on it. Can I blow on? I can't. Why can't the, the book and. The door? Blow on the... Maybe I just have to, like, stand right in the middle? Maybe I have to stand in the middle when the lights are off? Okay, let's zap the light switch. I can't remember what they said about it. Okay, let's stand right in the middle. This is my key and to talking to the... Oh. And then talk to the crystal. Oh, fuck me. I cannot remember what to do here. Okay. Dolores, we have a balloon animal here. It's a balloon animal. Uncle okay. Chuck said there was a clue. Are we allowed to leave here now? The fan is on again. Um, there's the Pillowtron 3000. Maybe we just use the balloon animal with the pillow. I can't reach that. Okay, we can't reach the Pillowtron 3. Are we allowed to leave? Because we can just go. If we can leave, I think I can leave. Okay, maybe I just have to get Dolores into this room. And then Franklin can talk to her in that room and escape to the afterlife. Okay, we left. We left the factory. And, that, and here we are. Going all the way up to speak to Franklin, and then hopefully that'll be Franklin done. And then he can escape to the afterlife, and Dolores can cry and use a balloon. Where the fuck are we going to use a balloon, though? I anyway, we'll head up here. This might be the one. We've lost all of our inventory. Uh, where did it all go? Did Chuck just, like, melt it, or... Like, where why didn't we ever get the shovel from Doug? Is it too late? Will we ever get the shovel from Doug? Fuck, I don't know, actually. Okay, Dolores is here. 
So Franklin should now be able to talk to Dolores. Dolores. Oh, Dad. Okay, finally. It's so good to see you. You've lost some weight? <laughs> Uncle Chuck found out something amazing. Uncle Chuck found something amazing. It turns out we're all living in a simulation. A giant adventure game. Wow. Okay, I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I'm so sorry for everything, Dolores. I should have stood up for you. You were a gnarly dad. Maybe because of the way Uncle Chuck treated you, you always pushed me to be anything I wanted to be. Aww. You have nothing to be sorry for. Uh, wait. Your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Wait. Your Uncle Chuck is an evil, you know, jerkwad? Oh, Uncle Chuck was a jerkwad, but mostly because he was corrupted by the machines. Yeah, when he discovered it's exactly the truth, like Skynet. he knew what he had to do. He was a jerk to me before that. Skynet corrupted him, Franklin. A simulation that can't be a true. A simulation that can't be true. It's true. I'm on my way to shut down the Master Tron machine and free us all. Uh, uh, by free us all, do you mean us going back to our... Mean end the suffering? Oh, by free us all, end the suffering permanently? That's right. I honestly don't know, Dad. All I know is this has to end. I trust you, Dolores. I always have. Okay, you should get going. I love you. We're all you counting on you. I love you. We're all counting on you. Thanks, Dad. I think I can finally move on now. <gasps> I love you, Dad. I love you too, Dolores. Oh, Goodbye, Franklin, no! Dolores. Oh, Goodbye, I'm gonna miss him. Oh, my little pop-up menu on the right seems so empty without him now. Okay, balloon animal. I wonder if like the balloon animal seems a bit circusy to me. Maybe it's like all something to do. Maybe everything culminates with Ransom doing his last. Oh no, we can't even go to the circus. Actually, there's a lot of places we can't go to. We can go to the bus station. Go to the quickie pal, we can go to the bridge. I bet you everything is gonna just end in the sewers. There's the fridge down there and the dirt and stuff. We can't go back to the manor to get the shovel from Doug. Surprise, surprise. There's the quickie pal though. Maybe we can win the lotto. Hmm, they're closed. The quickie pal is closed. What the hell, can we go into the bathroom? Ah oh, shit, it's still, <laughs> everything is just as I left it. Three, four, four, four. Okay, Ray. It's up to you now, Ray. Oh, wait, she doesn't have her phone anymore. Game of the Year award. Okay, so what, we have to find out what the employer is looking for. Um, is there anything that we can do in here? There's one more tube here, but it doesn't highlight. Okay. Maybe she can, like, use the Pillowtron 3000. I can't reach that. No, she can't. She cannot use the Pillowtron 3000, it turns out. Which is fair enough. Um, okay, if you go up here, the computer terminal is, like, all busted up as well, I think. Can't go back to the mansion. Can these... It's locked. All, all this stuff is... Wait. This door is closed as well? You can't go down there anymore? Okay, we can come out here, though. The county map. Where do we want to go with Ray? She's got an award. Maybe we have to go sell this award at the hotel or something? Maybe Game of the Year award. Maybe we have to give it to the guys at ThimbleCon. Because Ron Gilbert was up there and David Fox, too. Maybe we give that to them and they're like, Oh, shit, I can't believe... But it's empty. Oh, look. Okay, let's give this trophy to Ron Gilbert. Hey, nerd. Anyone <laughs> can win a dumb award nobody cares about. Oh my god! We won! Oh... <laughs> Congratulations, Ron! You did it! Oh, man. I have to go tell the others. Nerd. Oh, now god. I need to find the secret I'm being paid to recover. It must be in here somewhere. Okay, it's gonna be in here somewhere. I bet you it's this. It's a bunch of boxes and lines. Okay. Probably maybe. something to do with game design. Okay, hmm. what's there's a sign here? There's... I wonder. Can we pick up these spaceships? I don't want that. Okay, it's gotta be around here somewhere, but where? There's some comics and some... There's the bargain bin. A dime a dozen. Okay, there's some comics and books I here. I don't want that. It's got to be in here, she said, right? There's a... It's a character from an upcoming adventure game called... That doesn't seem to work. Can we just pick him up? I don't want to pick that up. Can we open it? I can't open that. Can we open the vending machine? Bet you it's in here. I can't open that. Maybe you can walk into the vending machine. It's like... Maybe we pick up these action figures. I don't want that. 
Maybe we pick up the Martian. I don't want to pick that up. Let's push the robot pirate. I can't push that. Let's push the Martian. I can't push that. How about we push these spaceships and bottles off? I can't push that. No, she cannot push that. There's all, like all this crap over here. What's this? The dependency chart? Maybe we pick this up. Aha. Congratulations, Agent Ray. Okay, finally. You have found <laughs> a secret to game design. The fabled puzzle dependency chart. Oh, nice. It can be all yours if you get me out of here. I don't want to be deleted with the rest of them. We will begin the uploading process momentarily. Nice! Was the money deposited into my account like we agreed? Yes, Agent Ray. We honor our agreements. <laughs> oh my god. Oh well, off she goes. That tickled. Oh my god. Okay. Ray's gone. <laughs> okay, Dolores has to do this balloon animal, but I don't know what the fuck how Well, we got that tape, remember? And it was like for nothing. I guess it I guess the flyer did also give us the coordinates to that secret place, right? It's a confession from Chuck Edmund. It okay. says he framed Mr. Reyes, the security guard. Okay, so where maybe we go to the radio station with this? Is is the radio station still available? No, it's fucking gone. Of course. Uh, how do we transmit this to everyone? Maybe we can just go to Main Street, give it to the Sheriff Arena or something. Maybe that's maybe maybe that's the play. It's the Sheriff Arena, or the or the coroner or who. Some, somehow we get this. Well, there's a phone here, but I don't. Oh look, maybe we could give the confession to Willie. He doesn't want it. Okay, Willie is still here for some reason, and don't ask me why. But um, maybe we can mail it. Oh, maybe we mail it. We haven't used the mail slot yet, right? Who are we gonna mail it to? Let's go to the post off. No, of course, of course, the newspaper. All right, let's give the confession to How Natalie. How can I help you, Agent Reyes? Caught any more killers? No, yes! I have a big scoop for you! I have a big scoop for you. Calm down, Jimmy. What do you have? Oh, Chuck framed my father for the factory Chuck fire! Chuck framed my father for the factory fire. Can you write up the story and get it out before the game is deleted? I'm on it, Scoop. You're gonna clear your father's name, and I'm gonna finally get that Pulitzer. Not that nice. it's really going to matter. But it's important to me. Give me a few minutes. I'm a fast typer. Yeah, look at her go. Almost Natalie's done? just slamming away there like there's no tomorrow on the old typewriter. Done. Excellent. Nickel News. Factory guard cleared and fired. Chuck takes all responsibility. Reporter wins Pulitzer. Nice. All right. That was an easy one. All right, Ransom. I guess you're up. There's a look at I'm sorry for being a dick it's card. I'm sorry for being a dick card. Okay, I know... There's a couple of people that we could potentially give this to. Um, none of them are at the abandoned factory. Um, I think we have to go to the hotel, maybe? I think the only person... Wait, was the guy... Was the concierge ar Areno at the hotel? Was he at the... No, he's not. Ransom? You're doing like... Okay, so where... Can we pick up this glass? We have, you know, this glass is bugging like the whole game. Don't feel like cleaning up after hotel guests right now. Okay, where? Oh, oh, the diner maybe? Maybe the I diner. Can't reach that. Are they in here? Oh, okay. Let's give the. I'm sorry for being a dick card to Sandy. I got this for you, Sandy. Look, oh. I'm not one to get all apologetic, but I'm sorry for being a to you. Oh. I really mean that. Oh. I have one big favor to ask you. Can you send me to my flashback? <laughs> I want to do just one He's more. He's got to eat a hot dog. And maybe not be such a. Okay, we can't. She deserves one less chance, sugar cakes. All right, Sandy. Okay, ransom, but only because you got me this nice car. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Let's see if I can remember the lines. Abracadabra. I'd look that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Oh yeah, this is the flashback, of course. Ransom the Jerk. 
was the featured act at Stupendous Brother's Circus. All right. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Not tonight. Well-earned doom is not on the program. All right. So this we is have my last chance. I'm not going to blow it. Okay. I'm ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed fine folks. All right. Let's go. We're ready. Okay. We have to Hello, not make fun faces. of the guy in the wheelchair. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily. And if you do, well, I'm sorry. I really mean that. Oh, they love it. Hey, you dude with the... Harry Mole. Okay, no, we do not want to insult the ugly old lady with the Harry Mole. Okay, hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. A 1970s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. If you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look half bad. You know, if you grew a hipster goatee, you wouldn't look half bad. Hey, look, bad. Doug is there, and he doesn't have a shovel. Hey you, ugly old lady hey, with you, the Harry ugly Mole. Hey you, old lady with the Harry Mole. Uh oh. Uh, I went to med school, and you might want to get that looked at. I went to med school. <laughs> you might want to get that looked at. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Okay, we but got it. they her. were good-natured and respectful. It was his best show ever. Nice! He was on top of the world. We didn't blow it. everyone loved him. Oh, God. He was good-natured and respectful. Okay, that's everyone down except for Dolores and a balloon animal. Where the hell can she go? The bus station, maybe? The Quickie Pal? No. Main Street? B Street? A Street? Where do we take the balloon animal to? There's the bridge as well that we can still go to. Let's check the bus station, just in case. You never know, right? Sometimes at the bus there's... okay. Turns out, no, there's nothing at the bus station. Is there anything on A Street? I guess there's the hexing lady. Maybe we can give the balloon animal to her? Nickel News, we've been in there already with Reyes. There's the, um, there's the post office. It's gotta be something to do with this lady, right? It's locked. Nope, okay. <laughs> it's nothing to do with that lady, it's locked. Wait, she's got a backyard though. Maybe she's set up some sort of like satanic ritual back here? Nope. All right, well anyway, we move swiftly along. We just have to figure out where to use this balloon animal. I'm not sure, maybe something- It's locked. Oh, okay, it's not in here. I guess we just check like everywhere and everything until we find something. I mean, we can give it to Willy. Give it to Willy? Maybe it's something to do with Willy. Why is Willy up here? Okay, let's give him the balloon animal. Maybe he likes balloon animals. Okay, we'll give him a balloon animal to Willy. I better hold on to this. We'll use the balloon animal with with Willy. No. The restaurant? Uh, the vacuum? There's the vacuum tube here. Can I just pick up this vacuum tube? I'd need a special BB-192 puller. I don't have one of those, obviously. Can I use the balloon, balloon animal, animal with the water fountain? Uncle Chuck said there was a clue in the Kickstarter video. Oh, fuck. I don't want to fucking watch the Kickstarter video. The clue about the balloon. I'm sure I can just brute force it and figure it out, right? Without having to consult that. Maybe it's something to do with... it. What can we use the balloon? Oh, maybe the valves in the sewer. I bet you we gotta use the valves or something in the sewer, right? But she won't go in the sewer. Maybe we use it on the dead body, which is still here, for Christ's sake. Okay, let's use the balloon animal with the corpse. All right, well, that was it. That, oh, no. I didn't even need to look at the Kickstarter video. This can't be good. They're deleting the game. The game is glitching. Oh, it's glitching. Uh-oh. Tubular. Wow. Uncle Chuck was right. This must be the wireframe world. We're in the, the wireframe world. The game's concept level the developers built to test their design. I need to find the wireframe pillowtron and shut it down before they can reset the game. Oh my god. It's got to be in the sewers, right? Okay, no, it's not. We have to go like this way to the highway. We can't. This is fucking weird. Holy shit. Okay, this here's there's a fire hydrant here. It's really, really, really nice looking fire. <laughs> the fucking graphics here are incredible. They're so good. Okay, here we are at the town hall. We can go to A Street, the park arcade. Can we go in here? It's a door. Can we go in here? It's a door. Can we open the door? I don't think there's any animation for that. We can probably walk right through. Oh, oh, okay. Let's try that then, shall we? 
Oh yeah, we we are right through. Can we go in here? Oh look, look, the arcade is finally open for business. Now we just gotta find this Pillowtron thing. Where was the Pillowtron? Does anyone remember where the Pillowtron was? I can't remember. It's not in the Nickel News. Classified ads and stuff. Copy machine. Okay, nice. The hitching post. We haven't been in here yet. Oh, nice. There's a Bulltron 3000. Maybe these are I all like read. ideas that they had and they just didn't use them. Here's the, the bank, the manager. There's the vault. Oh, can we? No, I'm, I'm looking. Okay, there's nothing in the vault. Oh, this is so creepy. Holy shit. Okay, that's the end of this street. Wait, can I look at my journal? Shut down the wireframe Pillowtron in the... Oh, I guess we have to actually go to the Pillowtron uh, at the factory, right? And shut it down. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, fucking the diner. The outskirts. There's the quickie pal. We go like this way, I guess, to the vista. And then we go to the abandoned factory. <laughs> oh, this is good. Okay, here's the... Here's the pillow factory. There's the gate that we can just walk through and open. Okay. Nice. Get to the factory. The big doors. Okay, we're in. We go in here. Wait. And is there's the glass. Okay. It's not wait, there's the trap door. Is it still here? Trap door? I can't get past this desk. <laughs> oh. Okay, fine. There's the hat there too. It's like a. Okay, I see. The blast door. Certain death. Yes, with all the arms and stuff. There's this, the lasers. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> this is fucking great. Holy shit. And then this long ass hallway through the lasers. Oh, and of course the fan. <laughs> we can just walk right through it. Nice. Okay. Here's the wireframe Pillowtron. That doesn't seem to work. Let's, uh, what, like, open? I can't. It's so amazing. So much evil can exist in <laughs> such simple art. How do I do it, though? Okay, walk to the opening. It's a door. It, okay, of course, we're inside it now. This looks like the wireframe Pillowtron Uncle Chuck described. I just need to push all the tubes in, and the world will be shut down, and will end the madness of no real choice and control over our destiny. Oh, of course, that's what Uncle Chuck says, and there's still a chance he's insane. He must be right, though. I mean, okay. We're pushing all the tubes. One by one, we're pushing them all in before the game is deleted, or we're deleting the game. We're deleting the game now as we push in all the tubes. Wait, will it uninstall the game from my computer and stuff too? Because that would be crazy, right? Okay, last tube. Last one. I hope Uncle Chuck knows what he's talking about. I hope so too. Let's push it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Come on. Okay, this is it. Push it I'm already. I'm going to do it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Let's end this. Push! Oh my god. I thought it was just gonna look like crap! <laughs> like fucking... Wow! Wow! I did it! I beat the whole game! Oh, how did I manage to do it? You wonder? Well... God, oh man, it just took a lot of... A lot of trying things with different things and then eventually things worked and we got to the end and there we go fucking Thimbleweed Park everybody what a incredible joy to play man did I ever enjoy that I I love an adventure game and I thought Thimbleweed Park was fantastic I would recommend it to anybody who would likes likes adventure games and wants to play a new adventure game it was very fun um, obviously, if you watched me play this from uh, start to start to end, um, you probably won't need to play it yourself. Um, but if you like um, adventure games and you like um, 
Ron Gilbert's adventure games, then uh, might I suggest maybe um, doing what I'm going to do next time a Kickstarter comes up for a new game, if he ever does it again, uh, I will definitely kickstart it and, uh, and I will definitely buy a copy of the game uh, to help support them to create more uh, because they're fantastic. Man, oh man, fucking Thimbleweed Park, holy shit. Um, if you watch this from the start to the uh, very ending, I thank you. Thank you very much. Um, pretty consistent all the way through in terms of how many people were watching and stuff. It's hard to tell if they were the same people watching it. Uh, but if you enjoyed this, um, I thank you very much. I certainly enjoyed playing it and um, we'll be back soon with uh, something else. Now that this is done, uh, we're going to have to play something else. Um, but there's a couple of things I have in mind. Uh, so we'll be back pretty soon uh, with something new. Excellent. Well, as usual, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I did. Um, and uh, we'll be back soon with something else. Great. Thank you! Goodbye!